So welcome to Social News that we have the news that social services fell to spot British Muslim brother killed fighting in Syria had been radicalized in UK. Despite Abu Lahd and Jaffa, they his whole family being monitored for years. It has emerged that the police and social worker failed to identify their Telltale sign of the radicalization. Jafar Diva was just 20 when he boarded a plane for Syria with brother Adullah. Two British Muslims killed while fighting in Syria were radicalized before they fled to the war torn state, a Syrian Kasibu has, has found. Abdullah, the the has 18 and Jafar 17, boarded 59 pound one way flights from London to Istanbul and traveled to Syria. Both were killed just a few months after the arrival. Abdullah by a spanner spamper while chasing the cheating forces in Lakatia in April 2014 and Jafar six months later during the close ring fire fire fight amid the ruined in Ilip. Social services failed to put emergency measures in place to monitor the teenager despite knowing the brother's other sibling image they has had fled to Syria to which her months earlier. But they have emerged out despite the whole family being monitored for years, police and social worker to identify their sign of radicalization. As Risk Caribou SCO, published by Today, has lighted how the agency failed to spot the boy radicalization. Adela was killed by Spinner six months and before young brother Jaffa. His photo. It's, it said it was a uh, recognition the boy were being radicalized and his and light highlight missed opportunities to intervene in the siblings lives were highlighted in the report following the death in 2014 of Anulat and Jaffa who were referred as W and X. The report commissioned by Brighton Council's local safeguarding children board LSCB highlights how, how police, youth, and social workers encounter terrorism officials where they share with her information. Social care agency has also failed to recognize the brothers were being radicalized despite their school in Brighton. 2013, the arresting concern that some young people were converting to radical Islam. Jaffa had been referred to the safeguarding panel after he met commits rebelling all American terrorists. But it was concluded that he was not risk of being down into the terror related activities. And be known to authorities, the brothers were brought up by a pursued father in a strict Muslim family who subjected to harsh punishment. All five siblings were made to get up at 4 a.m. to study the Quran and punish them if they felt they were not studying properly, including whipping them in a ridicule wires. In 2007, the boy's uncle Omar Ihez was released from the Cotton Boy after being held for five years. His return to Breton led to the angry backlash among the local community and the family was subjected to racism. Graham Bachelet, chairman of the Safeguarding and the Children Board, said the system was a horrible let these young boys. It Wakes up to call to those agencies to work better to get 
the, to understand the nature and symptoms of the trauma and how to work with the, these people who are at risk of exploitation and uh, an NSPC spokesperson said this issue raises serious concern about missed opportunities to intervene and help those two boys though it is clear that lessons have been learned in Proton and how to ensure that young people who may be vulnerable to exploitation are identified before it is too late. It is an you. Thank you very much for your listening to this UK news. I hope you will enjoy this news. Please subscribe our channel to get more news. Thank you.